Get ready to match the star. Donald Duck. Brett Summers. Charles Nelson Riley. Patty Deutsch. Richard Dawson. And Fanny Flagg. As we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 74. And now here's the star of Match Game 74, Gene That's not a microphone, that's a Crayola. Yeah. Oh, all right. Thank you, Johnny Olson. Yeah. Thank you, dear friends and gentle hearts, for joining us here on this day. You're going to have a peachy time because the loony bin is out again. <laughs> Hello there, friends. Oh, listen, Fanny, I think you ought to stand up and show and yeah. tell. I wanted to explain to people this was Brett before she married. A lot of people <laughs> don't realize she was a beauty. Oh. She was a... <laughs> that is something, isn't it? Oh, We're going to put that. you back yeah. on the bus. Yeah, the sweater's nice too. That yes, Fred has broken one of her trainer wheels. Uh, <laughs> something, something busted back there. Oh yes, I see that. Well, see, we're just gonna have to struggle along as best we can until the show's over. She'll never know. No, she'll never know. Let's oh, say hello I'm to our two players, Gypsy Janet Princess. Finn and King Colvin here. How are you, Janet? Fine. Good. Dan is a current champ. She has $12,850. And she's happy about that. We're happy for her. And she's going to be challenged now by King Colvin, whom we are meeting for the first time and who we welcome uh, most sincerely and warmly. King, would you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I'm single, still looking for that queen. And I'm originally from uh, Chicago. See, his name is King. <laughs> his name is King. So I'm single, still looking for the queen. Uh, you're not too quick, audience. Uh, they got it at home. Where were you then? All right, you're looking for your queen. I'm uh, originally from Chicago, now living in Los Angeles. I'm an electrician working for a major railroad. Okay, good luck to you, King. We'll start this game right after we do a little business with America. That's going to happen right now. In. All right. The beginning. King Coleman. I'd like to try B, please. A, you want B? B. Oh, B, he said. Right. Did I hear a buzzing sound? No. No, oh, geez. no you're oh, just going crazy. Squeaking. Okay, no, our chair is squeaking. I thought I heard a funny noise. Listen to this. While visiting Rome... <laughs> I heard it that time. Do not upstage the star. You make one more funny noise, you're going to go to your dressing room and yes, stay sir. there. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. While visiting Rome, dumb Dora didn't have a coin, so she threw her blank into the fountain. <laughs> While visiting Rome, dumb Dora didn't have a coin, so she threw her blank into the fountain. Three coins in the fountain. Which one will the fountain blue? <laughs> I sing roses to pick her day. Big hit on that song, no one remembers. Yes. Fountain Two people are called. Two roses Nobody are shining can. in Picardy, uh, Fanny, for the folks. Roses are shining in Picardy. <laughs> Spell my word. Okay, you're finished? Yes. Everybody else is finished, so we'll call on King Colvin over here to give us his response. While visiting Rome, dumb Dora didn't have a coin, so she threw her blank into the fountain. Her husband. <laughs> well, I don't know if you're going to find a queen that way, King. <laughs> Donald, what do you say? Three shorts in the fountain. <laughs> dumb Dora? She, she was dumb, dumb wasn't she? She was well, dumb, wasn't she? Well, I'll say, she didn't even really smart enough to wear pants. She threw her, uh, you know, she wore shorts. Uh, well, anyway, Brett. <laughs> Brett. Oh, Patty, I just feel so sorry for her. I just <laughs> get so sorry. <laughs> I can't help it. What have you got there? He's uh, said he, he said he was a king looking for a queen? Yeah. I have someone in mind. Show the herself into the fountain, the poor little devil. All right. Dumb Dora didn't have a coin, so she threw a blanket into the fountain in Rome. <laughs> Enough of this hostility, children, Charles. Breaking. A very clever answer. Credit cards in the fountain. Good job, Charles. 
Charles, that's very amusing. Have you thought of a career in show business or television or something? No, but I'm thinking seriously of leaving this floor. <laughs> Patty Deutsch. Yo. Here it is. While visiting Rome, Dumb Dora didn't have a coin, so she threw her blanket in the fountain. He says husband. I know. I said teeth. Teeth? <laughs> Why did you say teeth, Patty? Because it involves magic and wishing, and there's the old tooth fairy that oh. I don't want to get into a lot, but it does make sense to some of us. Quiet. Der Kinder is listening up there, Nana. Oh, okay. The tooth fairy is one of my best friends. Now oh, be sorry. careful, Patty. <laughs> All right, Richard, let's hear it. Hello, dear. <laughs> How are you, Gumtrump? <laughs> when I reveal my answer, you have to ask me why. Okay. Read the question, please. While visiting Rome, Dumb Dora didn't have a coin, so she threw her blank into the fountain. Now, she threw her dress. Really? The... <laughs> Why? Why? Because it cost a pretty penny. I know. King Colvin is looking for the answer, husband, Fanny. I'm sorry, I don't work here. <laughs> is this not your table? What? Uh, husband is his answer. What's yours? Dumb Doris that did through a coin. You know, I was in Italy and it's full of Italians. I said, <laughs> I said she threw a purse in. Her purse. Her whole purse. Her whole purse. I thought that was a good answer. Okay. Well, That's King Colvin, he didn't do so well with that. Right. Right. They didn't do so well with it either. How about you, Janet Fitt? Let's see what we got for you. Brett said. Uh oh. Brett said, Will Rogers never met a man he didn't like, but Will Rogers never met blank. <laughs> Brett said, Will Rogers never met a man he didn't like, but Will Rogers never met blank. I have the perfect answer. <laughs> oh, All right. sometimes I'm just so clever I can't stand myself. She has won $12,850. Honey, I have some land in South Alabama. It's a little damp, but if you could talk to me after the show. Not, not allowed. It's swampy, but it's sweet. <laughs> That's all. That's all. Finito. All right. Now, Janet Finn. Brett said, Will Rogers never met a man he didn't like, but Will Rogers never met. Jack Lugman. Jack Lugman. <laughs> Jack Lugman is what she said. Who is Jack Lugman? Jack. <laughs> Where is he now? Sylvia, Sylvia, who are you? Your legally betrothed husband is Jack Klugman. Oh, Klugman's. God love his little heart. <laughs> Donald, what do you say? You'd think that after winning $12,850, Janet could get to read her own questions. <laughs> That's true. And yeah. give the answers. Yeah. I think we can all go home. Right. Well, I watch divorce court like everybody else in America, so I said Jack Klugman. There you go. <laughs> There's one for you. <laughs> I guess your answer is not going to be a surprise, right? Well, well, you well. know, Janet and I have perfect rapport. Oh, really? This has nothing to do with reality. This is just and a little this, game you're playing. Yes, and if somebody you're watching said, Jack. who was the dummy who said he never met a man he didn't like? <laughs> <laughs> I said Jack Klugman. You said that, okay. <laughs> That's your answer, Charles. My husband. Jack Klugman. <laughs> yes. Jack. You don't know, darling. <laughs> <laughs> never met a man he didn't like, but Will Rogers never met... And she says, Jack Klugman. Yeah, well, see, I was trying to be tactful about the whole thing. <laughs> so I said, the Emmy-winning half of the Odd Couple TV show, which is why... It, <laughs> yeah, that's why it took so long. Yeah, see, this way, I've also offended Tony Randall. Yeah, because Tony Randall could take it personally, too, right. there. Yeah. Richard? <laughs> President? Yes. <laughs> We're playing this game, you see. Yeah. She said Jack Klugman, and she's hoping you wrote Jack Klugman on your car. I also wanted to be discreet. Oh. I'm not a gossip, and I don't like to talk about rocky marriages. <laughs> so I just put Jay Club. Oh, Jay Club. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't let her hear. I want to know. Her, her wife is always the last to know. That's right. Her hearing aid is turned down. She can't hear. What did he say? Nothing. Nothing here. It's all right. All right, Fanny. It's your turn. 
You said rocky, something like a boulder. Uh, knowing Red as well as I do, I had to say Jack Klugman. There it is. So that's six for you. You got to work that out for you, King. Well, we're going to find out how King Colvin does in a moment or so, but first this, friends. Round one has been completed. At this moment, it's six to nothing in favor of our current champ, Janet Finn. We go to round two and point out to King that he must match every celebrity with this question to achieve a tie and stay in the game. You have your choice, sir. Uh, be again, please. Be again. Let's see how he does with this. Everybody plays since no one matched in the first round. Susan and Richard were so skinny, they used to blank in the chimney. <laughs> We're so skinny, they used to blank in the chimney. Charles oh, is finished. I hate it when there are a lot of choices. <laughs> Tasteful. <laughs> Very tasteful. Susan and Richard. Hear that, King? I did. Mean okay. This is not an intellectual game, my dear. You're thinking too hard. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going back to Susanville, California next week. All right. Do they know that? <laughs> Here we go. King, Susan and Richard were so skinny, they used to blank in the chimney. Dance in the chimney. <laughs> Dance in the chimney. Okay, King, you've got the match. Dead. Long live the king. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. Got to get six dancers here. My card is full, I'm sorry to say. There. Donald, what did you say? I got him sleeping in the chimney. Sleeping in the chimney. So, Janet Finn wins another game. Good dance. Smoke. Congratulations. There's another $100 for you. Well, you got one dance I saw over there, maybe two. Uh, King, uh, it's been a pleasure meeting you. We've got a gift for you together with our thanks for being with us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Goodbye, King. Janet, you know how many, this is your seventh time up here? Oh. And you got 12,950, you're gonna try for over 5,000 now, you ready? Ready. Okay, let's begin. We polled a recent studio audience. We got their best response to this. Zip blank. Oh. The answer they gave most often is worth $500, if you match it. And the next one is 250, and the third is 100. A little slow with the dinger there, weren't you there? Okay, three celebrities are allowed to help. Whom do you choose? Richard. Richard. Zipper. Zipper. Okay, yeah. there's one. That's an open and shut case, folks. <laughs> Charles. Zip code. Zip code. Brett. Brett. How about zip gun? Zip gun. Yeah, that's, that's like zipper. Okay. Well, group here who remembered Zip Gun. You know, no, with the crowd she hangs out, that's what they'd say, Zip Gun. They say, who about your Zip Gun? Yeah, so she got Zip Gun, Zip Code, and Zipper. You may choose one of those or give us one of your own. Zip Code. Go zip on. Code. Okay, that's Charles. Answer. Let's see if it's up there, and if so, where? First, may we see the $100 response. Gun, gun. Zip Zap. I like gun better than Zap. Zip Zap. Oh. Funny, it's little with me. If you were here that day, would you have said zip zap? Well, in all fairness to them, they would have said zap zip. Zip. <laughs> oh, Zippity doo dah. Oh, Thank you. Zippity doo dah. Okay. Let's uh, let's find out what's under. Uh, we're looking for zip code. Here is a two hundred and fifty dollar response. Zippity doo dah. You just said that. Me. I had that. Zippity doo dah. It's an old old song from a Walt Disney movie. All right, last chance for zip code. Here is a five hundred dollar response. Zip code. What'd you say? Boy, is my husband gonna be nice to me? <laughs> no more dishes, no more housework. Just exactly how nice is he going to be? Don't answer that question. No, all right, now listen, you got the $500 and you're gonna play for 10 times that amount now. Remember, you have to match one celebrity head to head. Choose one now, please, Janet. 
Charles. Gonna go with Charles. <laughs> She's okay. gonna have cardiac uh, arrest. Well, Charles and uh, she have been a winning combination before. Let's see how they do now. Ready? Here we go. Charles, write your answer to this, if you would, please. Russian blank. <laughs> Russian blank. Russian blank. Okay. She's still doing her dance. Charles has finished his answer. Now, we need a response from you that you think will match Charles Nelson Riley. Russian roulette. <laughs> Charles, uh, the enthusiasm from the audience leads me to believe if you don't say Russian roulette, you better leave town. <laughs> now, for $5,000, may we see your response? We interrupt this program <laughs> and give you news other than Watergate. <laughs> the current champion on match game is $14,500. If this lady wins by turning over... Just a minute. By turning oh, over... Wait a minute. This is my show, Charles. What I the know. heck are you doing? This is... I'm the MC. If I turn my card over, this lady will win 18-4-5-0 oh. and become the new champion if my card says... children will have to go quietly home. <laughs> now, while we're all catching our breath here, we congratulate Janet Finn and we ask you to watch this message or two of interest. Watch first. <laughs> now, one thing I have to point out, uh, why we appreciated Charles Nelson Riley taking over the program as he did. <laughs> <laughs> there, there was a certain erratum which we have to correct. Sometimes that happens in the news. That's right. <laughs> He said 14,500 had been the previous high winner. The previous high winner had been uh, 15,000, even. So Charles was wrong. He was wrong. <laughs> now, this lady is our new all-time high money winner. She has a total of $18,450. And uh, perhaps uh, you'd like to uh, have your husband uh, share your joy and happiness. He's got a big smile on his face down there. Wayne, you got a shot of him? Mark, you got a shot of him? Okay. Yeah, there he is. Okay. Ladies, we've got to quit here. We thank you very much. Silvana, well, we get your whole life story next time okay. we get together, okay? Now, Aww. it's, uh, oh, it's time for a little message of interest to one and all, so pay attention, folks. Thank you. Well, our time is up here, and I'd like to thank uh, all of you who have participated in uh, the mayhem today. That was yeah. really exciting. Yeah, it really was. I was really excited. Yeah. About that land I in was, Alabama. I well, you know, she it's deserves really it. She's good. a good contestant, and she's got so many good places to put the money, and that's I was really... the hero. That's right. <laughs> or the heroine, as the no. case may Next be. Next time we get together, we're going to have these celebrities for you. Charlie Brill. Brett Summers. Charles Nelson Riley, Joyce Beulafon, Richard Dawson, and Marsha Wallace. Dean Rayburn from Match Game 74. Join us next time. Goodbye.